Welcome to another podcast by the Grand Piano Series in Naples, Florida. I'm Mark Travis, and this time we present works by Scarlatti, Jeffsky, and a little taste of Schubert as performed by internationally renowned pianist Shai Wozner, as recorded at the Vanderbilt Presbyterian Church in Naples on January 21st, 2020. And here's Mr. Wozner himself with a brief introduction. The idea behind this program is really to have extremely different kinds of sonatas. Sonata is the most durable genre in all of music. Uh, it's been around forever, hundreds of years, literally, from Scarlatti's time, and people are still writing sonatas. And sonatas lend themselves to being so many different things. For Scarlatti and for consuming Jeffsky, it's a literal thing. Sonata meaning sounding or something that you play. It's very, it couldn't be more broad than that, but it does imply a certain approach to the instrument. In other words, you, you explore something about the instrument, the way it sounds, sonata, the way it sounds, as a literal translation. With Schubert, it's more in the tradition of the classical sonata, which starts with Haydn and Mozart, and, and kind of reaches an apotheosis, if you will, with, with Schubert, and especially with E flat, which is his last sonata. Um, so you just have very different kinds of sonatas. This recital was generously underwritten by Dan Humbert and Alberto Quiseno. The mission of the Grand Piano Series is to preserve and present great piano literature featuring artists of the highest caliber. Its vision is to inspire people of all ages to discover the beauty and richness of classical piano through performance, study, and uncompromising excellence of outstanding musical experiences. Its vision is to inspire people of all ages to discover the beauty and richness of classical piano music through performance, study, and uncompromising excellence of outstanding musical experiences. More information is available when you visit online grandpianoseries.org. Born in Israel, Shai Wozner makes his home in New York City and counts Emanuel Axe among his teachers. He is a frequent collaborator in chamber music performances with members of the New York Philharmonic and has appeared as a soloist with many of the world's finest orchestras, from the CSO in Philadelphia Orchestra to the Staatskapelle Berlin and the Vienna Philharmonic, to name but a few. He is recipient of an Avery Fisher Career Grant, a Borletti Buitoni Trust Award, and Lincoln Center's Martin E. Sagel Award. He was in residence with the BBC as a new generation artist and is a former member of Lincoln Center's Bowers program. We're going to hear Shai perform works by Scarlatti and Jeffsky, performed in alternating sequence. And here he is to tell us more about this programming choice. I love Scarlatti sonatas. Um, they are really a sort of a, they have their own category in music history, if you will. Um, and, and he liked to to do things sort of on the edge, Scarlatti, when it comes to the keyboard, when it comes to harmony, he, he, did, he did crazy things. Um, and because his sonatas are so short, it's both a challenge um, and I would say an inspiration to program them in, in various ways, because you know they're all like, three minutes long. So the idea was to really have a counterpart to the sonatas that is contemporary that does a similar thing. And, and Jeffsky's sonatas, Frederick Jeffsky, um, who wrote a lot, has written a lot of uh, piano music and also likes to do things sort of on the edge and with a twist, if you will, um, has a lot of pieces uh, for the pianist who has to speak, you know, speak for speaking pianist. Um, and he has a series of nano sonatas that he wrote for, initially for a friend who I think was a nano physicist. That's how it all started. And, and so, he has dozens of them, and, and they're all very, very different. Um, much like the Scarlatti, they're very different from each other, and yet you can always tell that it's Scarlatti. So the idea was really to have, if you will, a conversation between two composers across, I guess, 300 years, um, and to highlight the daring aspect of, of each of these composers. Um, regardless of century. So um, even though Scarlatti is so much earlier, um, it's really kind of daring and, and, and just as daring as, as a lot of contemporary music, actually. So yeah, so that's, that's the idea behind it. Um, and I, I often like to do that. I, I like to take two composers and without asking them, just 
uh, get them together into, into some dialogue. Zhevsky's nano sonatas are not only colorful in terms of musical structure, but many of them also bear titles that range from the evocative to the amusing, such as to a young man and to a great guy. And now we hear sonatas by Scarlatti and Zhevsky. Shai Wozner, piano. Thank you. 
The program of sonatas by Scarlatti and Jewski has recorded on the signature instrument of the Grand Piano Series in Naples, Florida, the Fazioli F308. The pianist was Shai Wozner. Shai's program also included the famous B-flat major sonata by Franz Schubert. And here he is to explain how he feels it complements the Scarlatti and the Jewski. Schubert is really the more philosophical kind of sonatas, if that can happen in music. I mean, how can music be philosophical? Somehow it can, even though it doesn't have words. You feel like it's about something very philosophical. And 
especially in this piece where he plays with continuity of the music and discontinuity. You have these stretching lines and, and, and sort of very long phrases and at the same time abrupt cutoffs. Right from the beginning of the piece you have you have that and, and, and you have that in every movement really. One way or another, suddenly there are these stops that are, that are very enigmatic and very sometimes even menacing. And, and, and so there's clearly a sense of, of exploration, a very deep, very introverted exploration in this sonata. And a lot of people like to see it as a uh, statement about the end of his life. And I'm not going to argue with that, but of course you can also look at it from another perspective, uh, which is, you know, he didn't seem to acknowledge that his death was imminent because, because he was making plans for other things. So I'm not, I'm not so sure that it's necessarily about his own death. I think, I think it's about life and death and what that means for each of us, um, really. And, and so this kind of sonata is really more like sort of a, a symphonic work, an exploration of a very deep and broad theme, if you will, that goes throughout the piece, across the four movements, very different from the, uh, the fingery <laughs> sonatas of Scarlatti and Jewski that are about the other extreme, the other end of the spectrum of sonatas. That was an excerpt from the B-flat major sonata by Franz Schubert, 
Shai Wozner is the pianist as recorded for the Grand Piano Series in Naples, Florida. And if you enjoyed what you heard, you might be interested to know that Shai has recorded this work along with several of Schubert's other sonatas for the Onyx label. You can learn more when you visit his website, shywozner.com. And you can learn more about the Grand Piano Series when you visit grandpianoseries.org. There you'll find information on upcoming concerts and auditions, plus underwriting and volunteer opportunities. The address again is www.grandpianoseries.org. Milana Strezova is the co-founder and artistic director of the Grand Piano Series with Raniero Tazzi. And for now, until next time, this is Mark Travis wishing you good health and good music. Thanks very much for listening. We'll see you next time.